these are the tools and materials required to perform the leak test. Use a manifold valve for air purging. If it is not available, use a stop valve for this purpose. The low knob of the manifold valve must always be kept close. Ventilate any enclosed areas when installing or testing the refrigeration system. Leak refrigerant gas on contact with fire or heat can produce dangerously toxic gas. First, remove the bonnet on the gas tube service valve with adjustable spanner. Hang the manifold valve and attach the charge hoses to the service port. Pressurize the system to no more than 3.8 MPa or 560 PSI with dry nitrogen gas and close the cylinder valve when the gauge reading reaches 3.8 MPa or 560 PSI. To avoid nitrogen entering the refrigerant system in a liquid state, the top of the cylinder must be higher than the bottom when you pressurize the system. The cylinder is usually used in a vertical standing position. Do a leak test of all joints of the tubing and both gas and liquid service valves of indoor and outdoor units. Appearance of bubbles indicates a leak. Afterwards, wipe off the soap with a clean cloth. If a gas leak is identified, tighten the connections with stock wrench and performed the gas leak test again. Once completed, wipe off the soap with a clean cloth and leave the nitrogen cylinder connected for 24 hours. Check the gauge reading after 24 hours to ensure the pressure remains at 3.8 MPa or 560 PSI. Once the system is found to be free of leaks, relieve the nitrogen pressure by loosening the charge hose connector. When the system pressure is reduced to normal, disconnect the hose. Please refer to the instruction booklet before your installation. Panasonic.